So how easy is it to plant there? You plant the dirt and all in it? In, in, the, in, in the perlite? Yeah, I do that way you don't mess around with the, the roots or anything. Hey guys, Ben here with VW Family Farm, and we are at Randy's. Randy is the greenhouse guru. Oh, you like the, the GG <laughs> the, thing? Yeah, yeah, the guru. I also call him the the scientist of or the greenhouse. Or goober sometimes. <laughs> goober. <laughs> <Just again. laughs> A lot of y'all have asked questions on the hydroponic, aquaponics setups. My how to raise strawberries on your back patio. In my greenhouse, you've asked quite a few questions. A lot of it was nutrient questions, and I've always used there's a uh, there's a hydroponics aquaponics store down in Little Rock. That's where I got my cups from. That's where I got my nutrients from. But it's an hour drive to Little Rock, then an hour drive home. I called my friend Randy and asked him. I said, "Hey, where do you get your nutrients?" And he said, "Actually, I've started ordering them, and now I'm a distributor." So you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yeah, it's called Master Blend. It's one of the ones that we've seen on YouTube and works fantastic. And so I got it four months. I think it works pretty good. Yeah. And um, so then I asked about being a distributor for them. And they said, absolutely. So we bought a pallet of it and we separated it out in smaller amounts so people could, you know, right. benefit. You're getting, you're getting benefit a big 50 pound bag. Yeah, yeah we're in 25s and 50s. And we're separating them down, but this way everybody can benefit from me buying them in bulk. Right. And the hard thing about know. some of that is it, it tells you you need, I don't know, oh, six ounces so many, of no, it. Oh, grams. It's grams. all grams or whatever. So I made sure it was all like, okay, we have teaspoons and yeah, tablespoons. That's, why, that's so, easier to measure. So I did it on my little gram scale. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> So that's another story that's for another, for another day. part of his science. Another experience. day. <laughs> so, that's when my hair was like this. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah. So we did it in teaspoons. So it's simple. Right. Um, eventually, we're going to actually put the teaspoons in with the package. In the package. So, yeah. But everybody's got a teaspoon. So I, that way, you know what the measurements are. And it's I come over here and I got stuff. some of his his mixtures and, and uh, individual. We're packages. still talking fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that way I'm gonna put that in with my strawberries. I want you to look at this. So how old are these tomato plants? These are four months old And you can take a look down here if you want to. Look, look, look at this. Monster tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. Look at this one over here. This and tomato this plant is patch. four months old. So I'd say it works. Yeah, we're using all kinds of different uh, types of growing systems in here. We're doing the bucket systems two different ways. We're doing floats just in water with air. The, no water so float. those have got like a, a styrofoam. Just a styrofoam float bed. And uh, we're gonna show everybody how to do all of this yeah. uh, and, and how to source everything and not break the bank either. So I was talking to Randy here the other day. I said, man, you know so much about greenhouses and you know so much about all these different ways of growing in aquaponics, hydroponics. Why don't you start your YouTube channel? And he, I think you kind of him hauled around. Yeah, I did. I'm not a camera guy. You know? <laughs> He's a little camera shy, but uh, I think you about got convinced you're going to do it. Yeah, definitely going to do it. Uh, we actually going to have it under uh, uh, Greenhouse Solutions. It will be our YouTube channel. Greenhouse but, Solutions. Yeah, we'll but, link that down below in and, the description. Uh, and our our web page uh, site is completegreenhouse.com. Complete Greenhouse. So, and and so after five years of research and craziness trial and, and error lots of error you know <laughs> so everybody else can go through the trials yeah. too you know but a lot of myth busting and there's so much out there that's so exaggerated right. it's just like no nah. so what all are you going to sell what all do you sell right now on your website we sell the greenhouses mm -hmm. and those come in two different sizes two different sizes but we've done other sizes than that but those are the, the, the basics mm -hmm. um lots of different supplies uh Everything that we can save people money on, we'll sell. If we can't, we tell them just go to Amazon or something, right. you know. But Sometimes you can't beat Amazon. No, and that's so true. And yeah. it's okay, you yeah. know. But everything from the fans to the buckets to the, I mean, you know. 
the exhaust fans. Yeah. What about these? Yep. Uh, these rotating Those, yep, uh, the hurricane fans. They're fantastic. Well, and <laughs> you were saying uh, some of the things that you're going to bring to the shindig. You're going to have your timers. Uh, right. We're actually going to bring some stuff that we can sell at really low. You know, so really people could just get it. Yeah. You know, these timers they're on on Amazon. They're at seventeen dollars. You can sell for ten. Um, Seven dollar savings right there. The the two and a half pound box of the the three part uh, fertilizers. The, the nutrient fertilizer. They sell them on Amazon for twenty two or twenty three dollars. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have them there for ten dollars. So we're just gonna do that so people can try everything out and see you know for right. themselves because there's nothing like trying it. Yourself. So you're cutting Amazon in half. Yeah. Almost. All, yeah, some on that stuff. On, some yeah. And some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we can. Yeah. You know, so that's what it's about. Yeah. Helping everybody. And everybody help you. I mean, yeah. that's the way I like it. So I'm not going to show you the full place, but we're going to give you little bits and glimpses of different styles that he's using here. This one over here is the, is this the Dutch that's bucket? That's a Dutch bucket system. Dutch bucket system on a raised platform that you've got them on a watering timer that waters it, drains out, and drains back into your Right, and this one you don't have any digging to do, you know. Sometimes you can dig those down in. I've got one that's dug down in on this side. Right. Let's keep the water cooler. Warmer in the winter, so. So how old are these peppers, probably? Uh, same, about four months on the peppers, but four we've already picked quite a bit of peppers. Right. So, you know. But I mean, that right there in four months. Oh. And yeah. here it is, just turned April. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's what he needs is some more jokes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and this right here is your your floating wrap. This is just floating wraps with air. And they're all connected. You don't even have to do that, but I connected them so I could just fill the water from one. Right. Then I decided that was kind of dumb. I don't need to spend the extra money on bulkheads and connect them all up. You can just do that. And one aerator uh, will do four easily, four of those nice weighted air. But we'll, we'll get to all that. Yeah. Just, a, just the commercial. And, I mean, yep. um, everything we do, it has to meet certain um, energy standards. Right. I want everything so low on energy that we can just run these off of solar, which is a whole nother area of uh, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so so you can run these completely off grid. Yeah, you know, 100 percent. There's a lot of people wanting to wanting yeah. to know how to yeah. do yeah. all of this. Because we want to run it on two panels and one battery. Yeah. And back here are the fabric pots. We actually put it in a bin so we can really keep track of the watering. You can grow anything in these and it's just so these are any size fabric these are pot. just tree this is papaya trees grown in perlite yep yep i love the perlite because it's just sterile no bugs no diseases you right. don't have to worry about that and when we use our right nutrients they're getting everything perfect right you know we got avocados and oranges and you know and then in the bases we're, we're actually putting other things so we don't waste any space so we got bunch of chard going and eggplant coming up there's thyme and uh, we've been trying a little bit of okra oh yeah just cuz just try everything this there's, is another style of dutch bucket over here just yeah a bigger one. yeah it's a bigger dutch bucket but we wanted to do root crops they right. say you can't do root crops in these well yeah, we've already had carrots and radishes and beets out of here and it's amazing so and this is just a whole nother system another way of growing I mean, that's, hmm. it's yeah. just a lot of fun. Oh, these are chives in here that we're doing. Oh, okay. And then these are the beets, more radish, lots of carrots. So it's all, and we're going to just show what we've learned over the last five years and tens of thousands of dollars. Of so what would you? Partially wasted. <laughs> <laughs> What's the differences you got here? I mean, you've got raised Dutch buckets and one sitting on the ground. This one has a whole nother system. It's a little more expensive. Right. Because the controllers are more expensive. Just gives you a little more grow room if you want it. Oh, but okay. also, I kind of like those because when you get older, this, this part's not as easy as, as that. Right. You know? So, you know. That's one thing I got several comments on is the, the strawberries, way, the way I got them up here. A lot easier waste. to work with. Yeah, it's right here. A lot easier. Nobody's got to bend over and. Yeah. But this right here, you don't have, you don't have weeds. Yeah. You don't have, I mean. You'll get bugs now and then, but right. not like outside. The deer never get in. Right. <laughs> so, you know. 
Uh, I guess the biggest pest I've ever really had in mine one? is, oh. yeah, now that one time you stuck me, <laughs> is the uh, aphids. Yeah. Do you have problems or your solution to getting rid of aphids in a greenhouse? Whole nother, <laughs> that's a whole thing. I'm yes. make a big. Yeah, look. there's spider mites and aphids and thrips and all those little things, but it's a lot easier to control in here. So what kind of, uh, what kind of nutrients are you, is your mixture there? I mean, well, when you have a little container, <laughs> okay, and I just measured it out for myself, for, for me. Right. Uh, for me, it's uh, two scoops, but it's according to teaspoons and stuff. I had the certain right. scoops that I use. For 25 gallons, I, I found a scoop that actually worked. It's two parts of the master blend, two scoops of the calcium nitrate, and then one scoop of the Epsom salt. Epsom Goes salt. In, we, yeah, can, we can go to Walmart. Magnesium buy. sulfur. Yeah, but I am getting actually half the price of Walmart now, which is fantastic. You hear that? Half the price of Walmart. So that's really good. So we, that's what we're doing, why why a three-part thing. And because you can't really mix that stuff together, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stay, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not stable together. It loses so its. You, yeah, so you mix it as you go. And uh, I suggest you, I put water in here, I put my scoops in, I shake it up, get it all into solution form, right. and then I dump it into my 25 gallons. Now how often do you do that? Depends how much is going. I just top everything off. So that way I know my solutions are always the same. See, no one's doing that kind of stuff. Right. Now that, you know, that would be the smartest way to go. Once it's used up, you just put the same exact thing in. So, so if you use 10 gallons of water, if, it, if your plants suck up 10 gallons of water, you add 10 gallons. Yeah. You but, mix but, enough for yeah. 10 gallons. Well, what I do, I've got a, a container that actually has a 25 gallons. I mix my 25 gallons. I take this bucket. I don't care how much it is. I got you. And then I just top things off. So your blends that you're mixing up with the three, your three different mm -hmm. ingredients or your three blends there, how long, will, how much will that serve? How many gallons? Did you get that yeah. calculated? Yeah. Just right at 200 gallons for the little $10 box. $10 to 200 gallons. Yeah. So a wow. lot of nutrients. Yeah. And you won't go through that in a while. Right. I mean, big commercial ones, yeah, but you know, we could still do that. Obviously, we could do whatever size. Oh, yeah. So. Cool. And it, even even if you're not doing something like this, somebody could get these nutrients, mix right. them up, and then use them in, even in their garden. Yeah, well, I put them on my peach trees. Out in the yard. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you could do whatever, but just keep the mixes the same, water around, absolutely in the gardens. Your strawberries are going to be crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So y'all definitely need to uh, go check him out. He needs to go and get some videos uploaded. And yes, I do. <laughs> I, I will do that, I promise. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you will learn a lot. All right, we stepped over in the small greenhouse. Actually, this is the one, same size as I got. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, he's got, these are cuttings off of those plants that were four months old, so. Makes these about two months, maybe two and a half months. How old but you? these, but these are cuttings from those. So these are about a month, to a month and a half. Month, two months. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. So if you're coming to the shindig, you'll get to meet Randy. Uh, Randy. If gonna you have... want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be in his white lab coat, maybe. I might. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna have some items for sale, and then also be lots there to of information. Lots of information yeah. to answer questions. Yeah. So if you got questions, think of some, whatever. And we were even thinking after that on uh, uh, if people are going to be around for the weekend, whatever, we'll be here. Opening it up. And we'll open up to the different people who come. I, wow. I forgot I was going to tell you that. Yeah, I did not know so, that. So, yeah, and they can come over and see whatever they want to see, ask some more questions. No so, problem. So if you're coming to the Shindig and you want to come tour these greenhouses, I'm going to tell you, they're amazing. Uh, a lot more amazing than mine. Don't forget, check out Randy's YouTube channel at when it's coming when it comes we're going we're going to solutions try, and we will get it there we're going to try to okay. get him to get a video I, i'm going to try to do whole sections of everything you know like so you know how to do everything how to source everything i mean why not right i spent five years just spend five days you know <laughs> <laughs> or a year or two just learning or whatever kill a bunch of plants fish whatever <laughs> it's okay we've all done it yeah so or if you need to buy anything for the if you want one of these greenhouses you can go to his website 
if you want any of the accessories That's inside of it. Greenhouse.com. Now you see what happened on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll put the link to all these down in the description. <laughs> and I can tell you. Is that a chain link? <laughs> you're going to get a laugh out of him at the, at the shindig for sure. <laughs> now, just in a few days, look at this. We've already got green on some of these. All right, one of y'all asked how I raise the water level up. The water level is not very high there because of the slope. This is one way I do it. I can use little rocks like that. Throw them in there and just kind of making a dam. Damming it up a little bit. Brings that water level up. That way you make sure your roots get plenty of water. You can raise this drain pipe. See, I can raise it up and down. From here, I can push it up. And I've got a, actually got a little o ring or a lock ring on here that's holding it. You can raise it up and down. Down the top up here, I've got it pretty level. So I do have to put, I'll have to have a few rock dams down through there. I've seen some people use some sort of a cutout of a plastic lid or something to make a dam in there. But all you're doing is just creating a little bit of a dam to build your water level up. All right, this is actually the packages that he is selling. All right, I'm gonna use some of this in my aquaponics in my greenhouse, but also right now I'm gonna use it here in this hydroponics setup. So it comes in packages. It's got your calcium nitrate. This is a master blend. See, it's a 5-18-28. And that right there is your magnesium. That's Epsom salt is all it is, but he can get it cheaper than you can get it at Walmart. He'll sell it to you cheaper than you can buy it at Walmart. I'll say that. All right, like I said, he's got these things. Simple direction. One teaspoon for five gallons of water. I've got the Rubbermaid tote. It's a 20-gallon tote. Probably got 15 gallons of water in it. So One. Two, three. Calcium nitrate, two teaspoons per five. One, two, three. What is he going to do a dance? <laughs> That's some pretty cool aid. Get him a little drink of Kool-Aid. Hope that answers all your questions. And as always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yada, yada, yada.